What's going on guys? Welcome back to more of The Walking Dead. I wanted to continue our conversation with Chuck here, so... What's on your mind? What's up, Chuck? You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past... Oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean, when we get to Savannah. You got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there, about whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. Alright, it was good talking to you, Chuck. Gonna head back inside. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. You and me, we... Uh, oh, fuck it. Let's just get to the ocean. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Hey. Not done with you. Yeah. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Getting a boat? I'm not really sure where we would go. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. Doesn't matter a lick to me. Fuck. Just gotta move forward. Take this map. Well, that if I get by you for a second, Kitty. Can you just leave me alone? Well, never mind. Be that way. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left? Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude, if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See you. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's jump down here. I guess I can teleport now. Let's see what we've got. What's this blood stain for? I hope we're not on this train much longer. Pick up the bottle. It's a fifth of whiskey. Hell yeah. I love whiskey. He's lived here a while. Check out the backpack. Ah, I got some scissors. Those are some ghetto-looking scissors. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well... I'm gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First. Don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, Make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. 
Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, it's a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Firing a gun's not that hard. I guess for a little kid it might be. Not much arm strength. Don't lock your elbows. Why are you okay. shooting a gun in here? Take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. I guess okay, I'm doing this right. <laughs> oh, no. Can I aim to the Back right? To the right. Aim lower. Aim lower. There you go. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. I'm surprised it didn't ricochet off the metal walls. Maybe they're thin enough that it wouldn't. Fail. Yeah, just move a little to the aim right. Aim more to the right. And a little higher. Aim a little higher. Perfect. There you go. Nice. Good job wasting our bullets. Because apparently we have an infinite supply now. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Hell yeah. We didn't even need a montage to teach her how to use a gun. And it only took hey, three sure. shots. Hi. Well, a little more than that, but... So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? It's not hard. How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. Yeah, there's plenty so of girls with short hair. someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. Yeah, I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. Do it now to protect yourself and to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Alright, got safe hair. We're in the clear. Is there anything else Sorry to say? Sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. What do you think about Chuck? 
I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Got that out of the way. I guess we need to go back up to the front. Coming through. Poor Kenny. Got anything else to say to me now? No. Nope. I'll uh, talk to you later, Kenny. Guess we need to go talk to Chuck some more. Well, the girl can shoot. Doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be before too long. You get that hair sorted? Yeah, I don't think she cares for it. She will. Hey, here's some whiskey. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Sure. Here's to not catching Ooh. mono. Not known for its finish. No kid. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Hey. Yo. Hey, yo. Guess we're done here. Let's see if I can get that map. You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Alright, fine. You got anything new to say to me? Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. N yeah. That was the most awkward conversation of all time. Is there anything else I can pick up in here? Doesn't look like it. My hands hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like... You'll get used to it. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. Okay, I guess there's something else I need to get. Somehow I gotta get past Kinney so I can get that map. Must be something I can do. Hmm. I was lucky enough to get it working once. <laughs> it's full of maps and documents. Try talking to Kenny one more time. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd help. Alcohol. Just drown your sorrows in alcohol. Got that map. problem, brother. Alright, I'm guessing I need to go back and talk to Clementine now. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? I knew it. It's all my fault. Ben. I know. They said they had my friend. That he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No. Just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. 
I knew it was him. I had a hunch. Got a map. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them. I'm sure they're okay. It's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and... Maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I... tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Surprised I could hear him way back here. Fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. All right. Let's see what these people are up to. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? 
things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? We just met Chuck, but he seems like an alright guy. You always have to worry about new people. I used to love meeting new people. That must have been a long time ago. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. All right. Let's take a look at it. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. <laughs> What's this? It's empty. Can I go in the truck? Empty. That's what I figured. I'll That's take that. That's the only useful thing in here. Anything else of value? Does not appear to be. Let's go back down. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. All right. Let's see. Can I do anything with the tanker from here? This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. Probably so. More big shit to move. See what they're talking about. I guess it's good. Clem's got a woman to talk to. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. All right. Well, let's walk down to the train station. Looks like we can do that. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team. Like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. 